All right, so welcome to part two of the tricks and hints for solving equations. And here, I'm going to just concentrate on variables in the denominator. So if you like, I encourage you to watch part one of the tricks and hints, which are in this playlist. So, well, we, in this part, if we have a variable in the denominator, and, and what do I mean by that? Uh, if we have something of this nature, for instance, let me just change here, make it a little bit thicker. So if I have something like this, and now my variable is in the denominator, so you can see the y is right there. So how do I solve for this y? What do I do? So there's basically two things that you can do in this particular situation. You can use reciprocals to the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and that is just swapping numerator and denominator, or you can literally just multiply. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is what I like to do. And so in this case, what I like to do is because the y is in the denominator, so what I'm going to do is I have, I can multiply by y, and I will do that to both sides. So I'll multiply it by here. Now, when you do this, notice that the y on the left-hand side cancels, and all you have left now is 8 is equal to 7 over 2 y. And now this looks odd sometimes because so so students are so used to having the variable on the left hand side um, but that doesn't matter. Okay, You have 8 equals to 7 over 2 y which is exactly equivalent to 7 over 2 y is equal to 8. Okay, Just depending how you read it. So now solving this, of course, okay, boils down to simply, so taking, so if I have 7 over 2y is equal to 8, if you watched part 1, you will know that you can multiply, okay, so this by 2 over 7, so that cancels the 7, the 2 is gone, and we have to do that also to the opposite side, so 2 over 7, okay, and then y equals... So 8 times 2 is 16, okay, and again, don't forget, there's a 1 there. So we have that, and you can change it to a decimal if need be. So to get rid of a variable from the denominator, you can just multiply both sides by it, okay, and you will get your answer, all right? So now what else can happen? Of course, the variable doesn't have to be on the left-hand side. It can be anywhere. So if you look, okay, so here's a, a different example. For instance, negative 3 over 8. So I want to throw in some negatives in there. So negative 4 and let's say over x. So how does this change? Again, the variable is in the denominator. Okay, so if you remember what I did, okay, on the opposite side, well, if the variable is in the de denominator, so let me kind of, I will multiply, so I'll do a little x multiplied by x, and I have to multiply by x on both sides. So this x is gone from the denominator, and it just so happens, okay, it now appears on the left-hand side. And 3 times negative, uh, sorry, x times negative 3 is simply negative 3x. Okay, and then again, don't forget, there is a 1 and 1 times 8. Okay, so that's going to be 8. And I have just negative 4 left on the right-hand side. So this process of getting rid of a variable from the denominator can be done exactly like this. And then, you know, in order to solve, you're basically doing exactly what you did in part 1. So now I can go 8, okay, divided. So if I multiply both sides... Okay, by the reciprocal, okay, so that's negative 3 and negative 3, the 8 cancels, I just have x, 
And now I have, so 4 times 8, which is 32. Notice the negative, because there's two negatives, so negative and negative will cancel, so it'll be positive. And this will be over 3. And again, you can change it back to decimal if your teacher wants you to. So that's how you get rid of these. Now, let me give you, you know, a couple more examples. What if they are decimals? You know, what if you run into something like this? Does it change anything? It does not change anything at all, actually. Okay, so in this case, because now you have an X in the denominator, so what you can do, what I like to do is, I'll just take the entire thing. So here, it will be this 4X. I will simply multiply, so both sides, okay, by 4x, so times 4x. Now I won't have any denominator at all. Okay, so the x cancels, right? The 4 cancels. Now you're only left with negative 2.7 is equal. And now 9.1 times 4, so that's 36.4. You can do that on the calculator, x. And now you can solve this. So you can solve for x. Again, it doesn't matter if it's on the left or on the right. In order to solve, okay, you have to get rid of the 36.4. So 36.4. So that cancels. Okay, and now I can take out my calculator that I'm not that good at. So 2.7 divided by 36 point four equals and we will get so notice it is negative seven four one and again you can round to whatever your question asks or whatever your teacher wants there right i just put dot 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 there because those numbers continue obviously okay, if you want to round you can then round so that's another example that you have let me do one more example okay so make it probably i mean it's just kind of as hard as it comes here okay and what happens so negative so we have this and let's say i have that and negative 2.3 all over 3.2 and let me use a different variable f all right so how do i do this now so again you can get rid of the denominators completely so I can just multiply by 3.2 F on both sides so 3.2 F on both sides okay and now so this 3.2 F and this 3.2 F so that will cancel for us okay so the F cancels as well and now we can go ahead okay and do the left hand side so 3.2 times negative 8.9 all right so let me do that so 3.2 times okay and it's negative 8.9 equals so that's 28.48 so negative 28.48 and it's still f right because you still have the f and so because this is over 1, so 1 times 4.1 is simply 4.1. All right, and then on the right-hand side, all you have left is negative 2.3. So now I can solve this. All right, so I have negative 28.48 divided by 4.1. Okay, so that's this right here if I wanted to solve this so that's negative 6.946 and so on f equals to negative 2.3 and finally because I'm solving for f right I have to divide both sides by this ugly number and this is where it gets annoying because it will depend on how many decimals you keep all right, so I actually have it stored on the calculator there, 0.946 and so on. And now we have F equals, and I have to punch this into the calculator to get your answer. All right, so 
that's how you solve and the point of this video is that I wanted you to see how do you get rid of okay the variable from the denominator so you have several examples on how to do that okay so this is the end of part two okay so thank you for watching again help one inspire a million okay see you at the one million journey cheers